G'day, Paul from Bushman Off Grid. I pulled the guts out of our Bushman fridge here, as you can see, and I'm just gonna to explain to you the, the key features of it, why it works, how it works. Now, the, um, the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the digital thermostat that we have. Now, our digital thermostat, um, little probes, uh, sits about two inches from the bottom of the fridge, which is always measuring air temperature, so there's no need for adjustment on your dials. Um, whatever you set it to, it'll monitor two degrees either side of that. So as the ambient temperature goes up, you don't necessarily have to keep adjusting the temperature. It'll just um, maintain that set temperature for you, especially um, during the heat of the day. You might find it running, running more often, but as the nights come along, then it'll hardly run at all. So our digital thermostat is a simple little module here. It's got uh, four push-on connectors and a the little thermistor probe, which is a temperature sender. Now, basically, if that thermostat, you drop a rock on it or it malfunctions, something happens to it, it's an easy fix. It's simple, four wires, unplug, which is your power and your power out, and your thermistor wire, four screws held in here, pop it out and you replace it. That's, but to get you out of the shit, we've got a, a override switch here. So that basically sends a power direct to the, you flick it on, and it sends a power direct to the compressor, and it'll run it flat out. So then you become the thermostat. You turn it off and on as you need be till you get hold of one of these, put it in, 10 minutes later you're up, up and running again. So it's basically just there as an emergency, that switch there. It's hidden away so people don't flick it on, leave it on, and then they wonder why the, the thing's freezing all the time. So that's our thermostat. Now, another critical thing with refrigeration is getting the heat out. Now. Uh, you see in our cabinet here, we've got ventilation all the way around, top, bottom, sides, because um, you want to get the heat out. You don't want the heat, especially the heat from compressors and condensers when they, you know, 35 degrees, they get quite hot. The, the heat's got to get out, so if, the only way it's going to get out is either through top sides or um, if you haven't got that ventilation, it's going to go into your cabinet, everything's going to get warm, and then amp drawer will go up and all sorts of things. So ventilation is critical there. We've got a big... Uh, wire and tube condenser here, along with our 120 mil fan, which is always running when the compressor is running, again to get that airflow across and out the other side. So another reason um, getting the heat out is our 240 volt adapters, we don't build them in, um, again for that reason, because you're trying to get the least amount of heat uh, out of that area as you can. So having an external one, external transformer, which is basically a 240 volt, um, again eliminates any more heat build up in there. So our compressor is just mounted to um, the bottom base plate there through four rubber mounts um, to take a bit of the shock out of it as you're traveling around. And we've also got the um, little diagnostic LED light. So if you do get a fault, generally uh, that little light will let you know. You'll be able to see that through the top of your, um, top of your fridge there. It'll flash, depending on the flashes, it'll tell you what the fault is. 90% of the time it's voltage. You know, people have got um, the wiring's too small, there's uh, a bit of corrosion between terminals or something simple like that. So, but that little light will let you know. So we hide that down there again so there's not all too many bells and whistles happening up here. It's all hidden away down there. Um, but we still put it there just, just in case. So if you can, you can get, um, you can find out what, what's happening to your fridge wide isn't going or, or something like that. Um, now compressor we run, we run the BD35, which brilliant compressor. We, oh, we sell probably 2,000 a year in all our products. Um, they're the Rolls Royce, we don't get any trouble with them, which is why we put a five year warranty on them because we're very confident with them. Um, now when the fridge is going, it's only going to be drawing between 2.4 to 2.6 amps. Um, now the only reason the amps are going to go up if, is if you, um, you get too much heat build up in here, which is again is why we've got all that ventilation or if your wiring's down a bit in your car. As volts go down, your amps go up. So generally 2.4 amps is what you should be running at. And that's only when it's going too, not all the time. So the fridge itself, running as a fridge, it might only be on for 30% of the time at a 25 degree day. So 16 amp hours and 24 hours is roughly what it's gonna be using, which is not a lot. Um, good battery, good wiring, you're gonna run this thing for two days easy on a 100 amp hour deep cycle battery. So that's pretty much, uh, the more technical side of the fridge. You can go in a lot more detail, but that's pretty much um, it. So there we have it.